everybody welcome back to my channel in case you are new to my channel or if you have missed my last couple of very sporadic videos I am currently somewhere in Europe I have no idea where I am when I post this video but I am somewhere in the UK or Europe having a hopefully fantastic time on some contiki's with two of my best friends so I'm posting videos every two Sundays just so there's a little bit of content while I'm gone I did have my video go up two weeks ago so my last video which was what I carry in my check no what I have in my carry-on bag so if you missed that video there will be a link somewhere for you to check that out today's video is going to be what I have in my checked in bag so it is my big suitcase I am going for basically two months so there is a lot of things to consider and make sure that I'm packing for especially because some countries will be colder and others will be hotter so I do have a variety of things in my checked in but I have somehow managed to not pack my bag to the full extreme so I will walk you through what I have got in that to survive for several contikis. So this is, I'm hoping I'm in frame, I'm probably not. You probably can't really see much of it, but this is my checked in bag, my checked in suitcase. I think Pascal's in frame, he's not coming with me. It is the hardest thing about traveling is leaving my baby behind. But this is my big suitcase, it is a big suitcase. It's like 70 by 50 by 20 or something, so it is a big suitcase, it is the Fly Light brand. As you can tell, he has been beaten up in the airport before. He's got a lot of scratches, but he's always kept all of my things very safe and secure. So that's why I keep using it. Okay, so this is what my suitcase looks like when it has been opened up. As you can see, I have a whole section on this half that can be zippered in. And then this half is just using the straps. So I will go through this half first. So I have a little handbag here. That's basically just if I don't want to be carrying my backpack on a day trip, like a really short trip out or something, I have just something that I can put my phone and wallet and money into and it's not too big, so it's good. Then I have my clothes. So I have a couple of tights here. I normally have my clothes all in these bags, but sometimes it's better to have them out. So I have my tights there, I have a dress, a thicker long sleeve shirt, and then I have my bags. So in this bag I have all of my shorts and a couple of skirts. This one I have singlets and some t-shirts. This one I have long sleeve shirts and this one just is more t-shirts and a variety of the other ones. So as you can see, these are the packing cubes. I swear my life by packing cubes. I absolutely love them. They just keep all of your clothes really nice and succinct and it keeps your suitcase nice and tidy and you also know what is in each one so you don't have to make a big, big mess when you're trying to get dressed. So underneath these, I have my jeans. Jeans you cannot roll. <laughs> they just get way too chunky. So I have my jeans. I have this one that's bordering the edge and then my other two pairs of jeans are just laid out flat there and that is what is on that side of my suitcase very quick very easy no trouble at all as I said in my check uh, carry on video um, I'm going to a country with a couple of different clothing options so like that's why I have a mix of long sleeve short sleeve singlets shorts long jeans tights etc just to cover myself for all manner of I don't know climates then on this side I have nothing in these pockets here they are empty and this one is as you can see I have more of my medication I do have a couple of medical things that I do need to take medication for so I do have some things are in my carry-on bag because I need to take them with me every day these are just the extras and also some other things that I don't necessarily need on the plane. I also have some face masks in there. The sheet masks from Neutrogena, they are amazing. And then these are some adapter, plug adapters. So 
I have them in there. I have a device on my checked in, my carry on, I keep calling it checked in, on my carry on where I can take the head off it, of it off and put another adapter on there and it's a four USB charger. Most of my devices that I'm taking are USB charged. So it makes it a lot easier just to have it in a small thing like that. I also have a plane connector. This is the UK one, I think. Um, I have a plane one and that is for my laptop charger because it does need the proper Australian plug. I also have my Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser in here because I love that stuff to take off any makeup and to get rid of the dirt and grime. I don't have it with me on my uh, carry-on. <laughs> Got it right. I don't have it with me on my carry-on simply because it's a little bit messy and I'm happy just to use wipes for that. But I do have it there. I also have my prescriptions in case for any reason I do need to get it refilled, although I shouldn't have a problem. Some more travel wipes. Again, you never know when you're going to need them. And I have this in here. Actually, I'll take it out and show you. I have brought this with me because you may notice, even though this side is zipped up, I actually don't have a, a toiletry bag. So I am not carrying with me my shampoo or soaps on the plane on the way over. And that is simply because it's too heavy. <laughs> so this is a card case. The reason I have this is because I am going to visit the Oxford Street Lush and pick up some of these. These are called soap cards. So it is actually soap, but it is waffle thin and very, very delicate. But what it means is what you do is you tear off a piece and then you lather it up and it works just like normal soap. But it makes it so travel friendly because of its size. So what I'm gonna do is go to the Oxford Street Lush and pick up a few of them and it just fits in like that. So then I have a variety of soaps, a variety of smells and scents depending on what I want. And that's basically my body wash, all taken care of in this cool little thing that keeps it nice and protected. And then what I will do is head to a Boots or I don't know, whatever their version of somewhere where I can pick up shampoo and conditioner and just pick up a couple of bottles because I am gone for two months. I will be going through them. So that is everything that is in this little bit. And then if I unzip here, I have still quite a bit of space. So as you can see, I have some bras down this end. Bras are just so bulky and I haven't yet figured out a way to take them where they're not bulky. I also have one pair of swimmers because apparently we are visiting a salt bath or a, something you can swim in. Anyway, it said on my thing to bring swimmers. So I have a pair of swimmers. I also have a stripy city chick dress there that I have worn a few times. And I have my walking shoes. So these are from Keen or whatever they are. And they are like sandals, but they have a steel cap toe. So just walking around ruins and just walking around city streets and stuff, my feet will be protected in case I hit a cobblestone or something like that. And it will be nice and supportive. And then I also have two, well, a pair of very worn sandals. And I've only packed those simply because on days where I'm not trying to be a true tourist, like I'm not taking my full backpack or I'm wearing a dress or you know, we're just going out for coffee, having like a bit of a lazy day. I didn't want to have my big chunky sandals. So I brought these ones just for those. And also like if we go out for dinner or something, they're just a little bit nicer to wear. And then finally in this bag, I have my makeup. So I will show you what I am actually taking for makeup. I will be taking some makeup. I don't know how often I will apply it, but by having it there, it means that I have it if I do need it or want it rather, I should say. So in here, I really don't have that much makeup at all. It is just enough to do a, a face. So I have, very dirty, my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner, in case I wanna do that. I also have one of the model's own liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Naked 11. So it's just a nude color. I also have my Boohoo highlighter. I don't think the video has gone up yet, 
But yes, Boohoo actually does have makeup. That is like a bit of a preview for you. Boohoo does have makeup. So I have done a whole video on a full face of Boohoo makeup. So that will be coming soon, hopefully. I also have my stained makeup sponge. I have my Essence Nude Eyeshadows. Just again, I can do a variety of looks with that from day to night. Then I have my brushes. So I have my Essence Full Coverage Concealer. I really like this concealer, so I have that. I have the Lash Paradise Mascara. Again, that's coming soon in a video where I tried it out and it was, spoilers, very good. I have my Revlon Desert Bronze. I think, yeah, Desert Bronze Bronzer. I really like it. It's just very basic. It's hard to mess it up because it is pigmented, but you can't, like, it's really hard to over pigment yourself. So it's easy to blend and I really like it. Then I also have in here my NYX Professional um, Eyebrow Pencil. So I have a spoolie on one end, I've lost the lid, and then just a pencil on the other end to fill in my brows. I have actually dyed my brows before I've gone, so they're a bit darker. So it makes filling them in just a little bit easier. They're not as much work. And then the last thing that I have is my powdered foundation. So this is the Nude by Nature powdered foundation in the shade Light. So it is just a mineral foundation. I took the little sifter out of it because it was just easier to get access to the foundation. And all I do is just put on some concealer and then put that on over the top. And that's pretty much my base done. So my makeup is very, very simple, but at the same time, I feel like if we were to go out to a pub or a club or whatever, go somewhere a little bit more fancy, I can feel confident that I will have a nice face, nice makeup. <laughs> anyway. Obviously, I do have underwear as well, but I have not packed it yet, but that will go in my suitcase when I'm ready. <laughs> but that is everything that is in my Contiki suitcase. So it is really simple. I have not overpacked it, or at least I hope I haven't. I probably got too many shirts, but I'd rather have too many than too few. So that is all that I am taking for a two month holiday through Europe. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up for me and I will be back in two weeks. Bye.